Okay. Yeah, I won't make any chemo. There we go. Jeez. Sorry, we're late. <laughs> Jay was being a diva. Was I? Yeah, okay. My fault. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Right. So, what are we doing tonight? We are looking at the wonderful film career of blue screen effects. <laughs> <laughs> That's what doesn't work. Uh, Andy Sidaris. So I'll start with Rob because I never saw Andy Sidaris until two years ago. That was the first time I even know he existed. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. So you're a late comer. What did you introduce him? Oh, oh, I'm later. I, I don't know when. Uh, that's a good question. I guess I was pretty late comer too. Um, probably. Yeah, maybe in college, so like oh. the um, mid to late 90s, maybe, somewhere around then. Um, yeah, maybe even later, a little bit later. Yeah, wow. I also, I wasn't into him back in the 80s. I was like seven, you know, so. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I Too wasn't watching him. Malibu Express when I was six years oh, old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shame. So yes, right. Jay, you were said later than me. That's I was later than you. Yeah, someone last year, probably around October, I think, sent, said you need to do the um, Andy Sedaris Triple B series, and I was like, "What's that?" And then from there, that was that led to probably some of the worst hours of my life. <laughs> some of the movies are pretty terrible. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah most are. of them. Uh, most uh, of yeah, them. I'd, I'd say half a half a apps. No, half half a bad. Uh, oh, right. Half of those are absolute shit. Um, <laughs> one is all right, yeah. but for the wrong reasons, and the rest are bang average. Oh, I'll which one there. do you? Which one do you like? I think. Yeah. Well, actually, there's two of them. Hard Ticket to, to Hawaii is my favorite yeah, yeah, because, yeah. It, because it's funny. Yeah, it's uh, funny. But yeah. there's yeah. another one that's all right. Savage Beach isn't too bad. Then, like um, yeah. yeah. But I'm sure we'll get onto these. We'll get onto these. Yeah, later. yeah we're gonna <laughs> do them in order. Yeah. We'll go through each one. My, we'll do a minute by minute detail of what's on screen in each of that twelve films. <laughs> uh, who's this? Yes, good evening, G. G man. Yeah, I shouldn't have had a green straw or a green drink. Fucking hell! <laughs> 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 oh, a actually, lot of I remember it. now how I learned about Sedaris is. Ah. I was a fan and have been a fan for a long time of uh, Russ Meyer. And then I was looking like who else makes films like <laughs> Russ Meyer. And then uh, Sedaris's name came up. So then I started from there. Yeah. So, Hang yeah, on. That's, that's it, might have, yeah. it might have been your channel that, uh, yeah. that led me to Andy Sedaris, actually. Oh, have you done, have okay. you done Hard Ticket to Hawaii? You have, um, haven't you? I haven't done that one, but I did Malibu Express, um, like right. maybe last year, sometime. Um, okay, it might have been, it might have been you because I saw your channel uh, about a year ago when I was first doing mine. Uh, I found you because I pretty much typed in who else does porn films, and your, <laughs> name, and your, name, your name came up. Yeah, yeah. film yeah. you refer to. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have mentioned a few of his films in um, like list kind of videos. Yeah, yeah. Um, so maybe one of those I did early on. I mentioned Hard Ticket to Hawaii. Right. Yeah. It could have uh, been that. Then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it could have been that. Yeah. But the only one I've done like a full video on is uh, Malibu, Malibu Express. Yeah. yeah. I think that's I think the that's... only one I've seen a post of in the video shop back in the day, though. I wasn't paying any attention to. It. That's the only one that rings Jesus. a bell. When what I year did that? What year did that post. come out? It's like eighty-three or something. Yeah. How old something were you in nineteen eighty-three? Me, B I was. Uh... BT. How old were you? I was like six. Yeah, yeah. 87. That's what I was. 13? <laughs> right, oh, fair enough. Yeah, you would have been in the video shop. I wasn't, no. Yeah, I was. We we're in the video yeah, shop. Yeah, would have been an 18 certificate, probably. Yeah. Um, right, yeah. When was it? Was it 87? It was that late? Uh, sorry. I was going to say Malibu Express, 85. Sorry. I was 12. 85, yeah. okay. Okay, oh, I mean, so I was. Yeah. I was like eight. The thought of that that came out the same year as Back to the Future is incredible because it <laughs> Malibu Express looks like it's made in the seventies. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, Malibu and, Express had a DeLorean in it before Back to the Future. I think it came out before. I seem to remember, and it's got a DeLorean in it. Yeah, but it's I mean, true, it looks the red so one. Yeah, 
<laughs> I mean, part of why it looks old is because the cinematographer uh, has no idea what he was doing. Uh, okay, I, I thought it was it, just the shitty haircuts. <laughs> uh, that didn't help, but nah. man, like the photography in that film is so bad. Like, and when they shoot like outside and they have all these like really harsh shadows, like Jesus, yeah. like hold up a reflector or something like that looks <laughs> awful. I couldn't and tell why, but it, it does look awful. I mean, that, yeah. I think everything about that one's awful. That is, that's my, <laughs> yeah. I think that's my least favorite of them all, actually. As in, oh. that was hard to oh. watch. Hard to okay. watch. Um, yeah. It's not my I least mean, favorite, but I don't like it. Uh, no. Yeah. no. All right. It has a few funny lines, it. though. Yeah, it's not yeah, the one with I'm knockers a, in the racing card, right? Yeah, now. June knockers is in that one. I have, um, right. I, I, I clip that one a fair bit because, um, what's it, the butler who's in loads of them. Uh, oh, yes. Calls people a little whore and stuff like that. So he's pretty good. Right, I got a short video explaining to the non people that have no idea what Andy Sadar's films are like. So here we go. Let's see if Evans it works. Beach. Picasso Trigger. Hard ticket to Hawaii. Ah. Hard play. Or die. Dallas Connection, where beauty meets bra. Hard hunted. They're back. The sexiest G-men in G-strings. This time, they're hot on the trail of a stolen nuclear trigger device. <laughs> <laughs> now I really want to watch them again. I don't know what to say about the order those films were in, but never mind. Did you edit that, VT? I I edited, yeah, I, I just downloaded random trailers and edited them. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. You for... included my favorite uh, shot in uh, Savage Beach when the one, she throws her nunchucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Like, yeah, you're not supposed to, to chuck your there, nunchucks, sorry. despite the name. Yeah. That's not how those work. <laughs> they I'm going to struggle to remember which is which of a lot of these, because some of the later yeah. ones... Seriously, roll into roll into um yeah uh, they're all kind of the same. a brief description but yeah I'm talking of degenerates yes good evening Beatles <laughs> <laughs> right but apparently uh who are we doing Andy Sedaris's first feature film was well first type of this type of film was called Stacy where he directed produced and write wrote I should say he uh what's it called the sleazy and dangerous adventures of a gorgeous female private detective. No, I haven't seen that one yet. But I've seen the trailer. I'm not watching it. Not what I'm not, not, not watching it. No. No, it's one of his early ones. I'm only interested in Triple B series. Yeah, is there <laughs> Stacy? Is that not a Triple B movie? No, no, it doesn't no, count. Okay. Oh, okay. They, it's anything from um, Malibu Express to first one, right? yeah. Return to Savage yeah, Beach. I think. Yeah, yeah mm. Stacy's not on this box set, and neither is the next one. 1990, uh, 1979, seven. He was only the director on that one and story credit. Hawaii has fallen under the control of a ruthless cartel of seven gangsters. The FBI acquires the services of an ex-agent turned assassin, Drew Savano, who, stump, who in a turn assembles a team of seven hitmen to stop them. So it sounds awesome, but... No, Is that like a, a trashy remake of The Seven Samurai? <laughs> I think that's exactly what he was going for. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, as we saw in that trailer, no shed is safe from people shooting. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. They're the easiest yeah. things to blow up, aren't they? The <laughs> Every trailer everywhere. had a shed blowing up. My favourite <laughs> thing about the later ones is when they start um, showing people get blown up, but they're obviously dummies. And as they're mm. on their way down, you can just like see like the how the body bends. It's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> so <yeah>. good. <laughs> 
Hmm. Yeah, there's that great one in uh, Hard Ticket to Hawaii with like the skateboarder, isn't there? <laughs> uh, that's right. Yeah, he skateboards on his hands down the for no reason at all. Like, there's no, there's no explanation for it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think the same skateboard guy is used in Seven. He does a, a few oh. hits in Seven using his right. skateboard skills. But yeah, apparently it might surprise people. It only took four days to write these each of these films, roughly. Wow. <laughs> at all. So he wrote all of them, did he? Because I know his, no. I think his son directed the later ones. There's yeah, the son directed two of them. Right. Uh, the later ones, as you say. But they were the same year that Sidar soon senior made other films as well. So Right. They're sort of and they all had the same cast and crew as well. So Yeah. So where are we? We will get to the first of the triple Bs, which stands for Jay. Um, I think it's bullets, bombs, and boo babes. Babes, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, keep it clean. It's babes. Yeah, strong, independent females. That's right. That's right. All that, but they do, they do need a man, though, don't they? They're not strong, independent women who don't need no man. They need, they don't they need, need them. They want they, them. They want them, and they get them. <laughs> and it helps if the man's called them. Abilene. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be on their on their um, wanted list. Yeah, so then we get to Malibu Express, 1985. Director, producer, writer, he did. And a womanizing private detective is assigned the task of investigating who is behind the high-tech computer technology leaks to the Russians. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> like, uh, w- worst things in that film, the, the car races against the hillbilly. Uh, oh, yeah, I, well, mean, I don't know what that's So happening. stupid. Totally pointless. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I, mean, I thought he was just, like, messing with the audience with those. Like, a few times it happens, like, when they're supposed to reveal, like, a plot point, and then the hillbillies <laughs> show up. I'm like, no, I... I I don't want to know what was going to happen, and then nope, nothing happens. Just <laughs> yeah. a stupid race. Like it's so stupid. Crap. It might, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's just awful. And is that that is the one that's got Mauser from Police Academy as one of the baddies, isn't it? I Mauser don't know. from the I haven't... Academy films is one of the baddies at the end. It's I him. I know. He's in seven. Oh yeah, he's right, in. Okay. Yeah, he's in Malibu Express. I think I remember now. Yeah, because <laughs> he does some very offensive jive talking in seven so because he's a stand-up comedian makes sense because yeah yeah all these agents have covers don't they like um gerald okanama who's in many of the films plays uh an elvis impersonator in some and (laughs) yeah yeah Mm. yeah yeah one of them works undercover as like a stripper yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) everyone everyone there is no reason for i mean it's the most (laughs) If you don't want to draw attention to yourself, the last thing you do is be a Vegas stripper or an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> but, right. yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. How about Bus Boy? Yeah, maybe yeah. that would be That's better. probably a bit better. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll take that as you don't like it, Franz. But yeah, thank you. Thank you put you his head on upside down, Franz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to let my cat out. I need two seconds. All right. No worries. All right. Well, this Franz for a minute. Because <laughs> yeah, he. Yeah, I think Nightbot must be on holiday. Because yeah, he got capitals in there and he hasn't said anything. So. Uh, I think it allows that. It's when you just use constant capitals. You're allowed to yeah. emphasize a yeah. word. Um, right. I've, I haven't seen him for a few days, so I think he's gone. So yeah, then he waited two years to so 1987. We got hard target, hard ticket to Hawaii. Was that really the second? What did that even mean? Yeah, that's wow. what I got it in order as. Yeah, yeah, it is the second. Oh, okay. one. Yeah, and that and this and was the only, first. He didn't produce that one. There, I, I thought hard ticket. To, that, although Malibu Express was the first one, it does that like, have some overlap of actors and characters. It's um, Ma, uh, hard ticket to Hawaii is the first is where it kicks off really. Um, right, right. So yeah. it's that it's that style, isn't it? It's the first time they. Um, I think they are in Hawaii for the first time, and it's the first time they have the um, whatever it's called their cargo business, and it's the first time <laughs> uh, that the main characters are are Playboy women. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, because I, I don't know which is which because they have Playboy playmates and penthouse pets, and usually it's uh, Julie Strain, Donna Spear, 
Hope Marie Carlton, Cynthia Brimble. It starts off in the first ones. The first, so the, when we start off, it's um, Donna yeah. Spear and mm. uh, Hope Marie Carlton. I think it's pronounced Dona, isn't it? Because it's D-O-N-A. That's why I did see an interview where, yeah, she was supposed to be called Donna Sun Spear. The character was, yeah. Was but I, so I think, I'm not sure yeah. it is. Yeah, but so when it's her and Hope Marie Carlton, what are their names? Their names, Donna and Paige, I think. That's it, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, I think the um, names. they're I think they're the best ones, and then um, yeah. then later they replace pa Paige with uh, <clears throat> the the Latinx woman. That's a white, <laughs> that's a white people word for you. Um, <laughs> Can uh, yeah. we not use white people words, please? No, sorry, I won't use that. <laughs> uh, okay, the uh, Mexican or something like that woman. Yes. Um, well, she might be Mexican for all I know, but I can't remember. I don't know what her name is. Um, Actress of color. No, I don't really know Vasquez. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's a Mark it. or Wendy Hamilton are the others. With Vasquez, it's Roberta Vasquez. And I can't remember what her uh, name is in it. But then they no. replace Paige with her, and then it's all right. But then it starts getting shit when they put bring in um the woman with the massive tits. What's her name? The blonde one. Doesn't narrow it down. The one that plays uh, Cobra. There's there's a couple of them. The stripper. Massive and fake too. That that's what yeah. turned me off for the whole series. Yeah. Uh, is it okay? Well, that's that's when it started getting better in my mind. But <laughs> um... anyway, in Hawaii, an undercover DE agent and her civilian friend, because you bring those along on a DA sting, uh, yeah. stumble upon a drug trafficking operation, have to enlist the help of their colleagues' friends to go after the vicious drug kingpin. Yeah, that's right. And right. and this is <laughs> this is when the second Abilene brother or cousin comes yeah. in i think this is mm. rowdy abilene who's uh and it's got the guy with the ponytail yeah, isn't it the um, who's in um i think he's in some shit like um uh like a what well, either hollywood cop or it's the sequel to samurai the effective sequel to samurai cop oh uh, okay yeah. Are, are the men like professional wrestlers or bodybuilders or something? I assume they're bodybuilders. Yeah, I don't think they don't. Uh, they have, they've they've got um. So Buff Bagwell of WCW fame is in um is in the mm. latest one. He's uh yeah. the warrior. I didn't know who he was. That's right. Yeah. yeah. With like and then he and Indian then he becomes a goodie in the last yeah. one with no no explanation whatsoever. So they're all well, like, oh, that's fine. Remember when you tried to kill everyone? Yeah. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's uh, Fast and did that as well with Jason Statham. He killed, tried to kill everyone twice or something, and then he's part of the team yeah. now. Um, and the guy, um, all right. Rodrigo Obregon, I think his name is. Yeah, I was hoping I someone else would say it. He plays a lot of different the, characters. He's in he's, the first one he's in, I think, is Hard Ticket to Hawaii. And then I think he's in every single one after that as a different character. So, yeah. Oh, oh okay. no, yeah. sorry. Return to Savage Beach, he comes back as the character. He was in in Savage Beach, <laughs> but in all the yeah. other ones, he's got he's got another name with a lot of different stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh, a Scooby Doo reveal. Oh, France is in for a similar chop to yours. Where's saves on costs? Well, it's also way. if you're going even slightly bored, it really is the only option. If you try, well, the hat oh, is yeah. another good option. If you can't <laughs> fucking, you just can't. Like, like, I mean, VT is trying to fucking style it out, but everyone knows it's happening. <laughs> so, like, he just, needs, he just needs to get rid of it. So, and it's, yeah, you're not fooling anyone. Both. If you're at, if you're at home and you've got a bit of that, a bit of never that, it's mine. You're not you're not fooling anyone. <laughs> get rid of it. You don't want to look like something off Kingpin. <laughs> I don't anyway, want to look like that either, that. really. But no, 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 no. <laughs> not ideal. <clears throat> I do both. I uh, shave my head and wear a hat. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a double. Yeah, <laughs> it's a double cover. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, but the hat's just for oh. YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a very nice hat. But yeah, friends is yeah. Uh, what man of our age isn't apart from? Uh, I don't know what Bagwell's doing these days. Professor. I'm not, no, mine, mine's all, mine's all there. I just uh, oh, it's it, it's easier, yeah, don't like it. Yeah, yeah, it's easier to look yes. like a thug. Well, it's cheap. It's cheaper as well. I can do this my own. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do the same thing every couple of weeks. I just shave my head in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. much easier. Yeah, mm. and if I have to I jump on a stream like this, I don't have to set my alarm for an hour early, so I have to wash my hair and do it so that I don't look <laughs> a twat. Well, I do look a twat, but not as much of one as I would do. <laughs> Good evening, oh, Professor Macabro. Yeah, you heard a talk of Andy Sidara's smut and boobies, so he's here. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, Professor. I knew I'd get one expert here. Uh, the Professor knows his booby films. Does he? Good. 
<laughs> he's, he's on our level. So yeah, where do we get to? Because is he well, is he another uh, smut talker? Is he? Is that he he it, should he should be on this? He should be. He should be the fourth <laughs> panelist. I think I've seen his stuff. Is he the guy that wears the mask? Yeah. Mask? Just, uh, if you're if you're still no. there, your stuff's good. <laughs> Sorry? He is very good. He, yeah. he is very good. Uh, but yes, Eric Estrada's in two films as well, doesn't he? One he's a good guy. One he's the bad guy. Yeah, so. he's a baddie first in. Oh, I can't remember which one it is. It's do or die. It's the one it? where, yeah, the one where they're in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. And then he I comes back he... as, yeah. as a, a different character who's a good guy. Um, and it just doesn't make any sense because it's obvious. I mean, you can do it maybe with like people that are not well known, but not the guy of fucking chips. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, uh, got Pat Mori Morita as well. Turning up and right, yeah, top yeah. He... massages and stuff. Yeah. That was quite surprising. Mm. Which one that. was that? That was that hard hunted or Yeah, it is do or die. I know yeah. Eric Estrada is against uh Pat Morita in one of them. Yes. Mm. I think that's do or die. Yeah. Yeah, that's that was sad news when I started watching these and found out that the Judy's train is dead. She is quite yeah, yeah. quite funny. That that's a pretty miserable story actually about the whole horse riding accident, how long it went on for and drawn out. Pretty grim. Mm -hmm. And anyway. uh, I don't know the story. <laughs> uh, no shit. I'm gonna have to explain it now. Um so uh my my understanding of it is that she had a horseback riding accident and then she was ill after that or couldn't walk or whatever for ages. And this might be totally wrong by the way, so please correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. Um but uh yeah, she uh, and then it was just a sad, long, painful death. Uh, so kinda like Christopher Reeve. Uh, yeah, but she, yeah, it wasn't as bad as that. I don't think. I mean, that oh, is the okay. worst. Uh, yeah, but yeah, there's that brilliant one. I can't remember which film it is where uh, she's in the office with Gerald Okamara, and then she's running into the office and she turns quickly and hits, hits, knocks him over with her boobs. That's right. Yeah. Oh, which one's that? that oh my god, that one's terrible. That's the one of the ones with. I think that's Day of the Warrior. Yeah, that nah, that that sounds it. Yeah, because that's probably one of the ones I because I. I clipped it and then put it on Instagram tagging Gerald, and he did respond <laughs> with a thumbs up. And, oh, that's, oh, that's good. <laughs> then I that's... asked him how many takes did it take, and he said two. Right. <laughs> Fair enough. One, one for each. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to get it in the right angle. Ah, see, Professor's got the. Uh, I guess it's this box. If it wasn't invisible. Yeah. Probably looks a bit <laughs> like some of that. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I imported this from America because there's nothing in the UK of Andy Sadara stuff. No, and it's all twelve films. It cost me ten pounds, including. Wow, that's a good deal. Yeah, I was very surprised. Well, or is it because they're Andy Sadara's films? But <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, like that. It's not. I mean, yeah, it's a good deal for him that someone paid a tenner. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks. But I mean, like the. Yeah, talking about Russ Meyer earlier, the Russ Meyer box hmm. that I mean, you can't touch that thing today for like less than three hundred. Is that right? Oh, right. Yeah, um, it's yeah. been out of print for a while. Um, yeah, and then for whatever reason, yeah, they're not putting them out on Blu-ray or any other collections. I mean, I, I have the the Russ Meyer box set, and that's back when Arrow was called Arrow Video. It's like it's that old. Oh, right. Uh, and that was the last one. Like there hasn't been anything since. I'm stunned they don't re-release stuff because obviously these people obviously don't go on YouTube enough. Because for fuck's sake, there's enough of you fuckers <laughs> out there, isn't there? Like collecting yeah. all this shit. I mean, I can't believe how many people are like, what, what are they called the pencil case. It's steel books. Like there's so oh, many right. people that are well into this stuff. Like I'm stunned. Um, VT, yeah. have you still got your? Did you keep hold of your Alien box set thing that you got with the? VHS, of course I did. Okay, I thought you might. I thought you might be going to sell it, but no. That I mean, that was that was good. That's that looks like a pretty that was exciting. A, yeah. That was a bargain one, yeah. Like a relic, and it's brilliant. It's taking me thirty years to get it, and then I'll yeah. just flog it for twice the price. <laughs> yeah. <Cheeky stuff. laughs> ah, Mike's here. Stay away, Mike. This is smut. <laughs> Mike the, deals with the classic Hollywood, not this dross. <laughs> Good old uh, noir films and westerns. Oh. Uh, yes, my teeth did look like a Helen Look at that. I don't know if it's because all the plaque fuck. on them. I was, I was, no, it's not. I was going to say that. I thought, what the <laughs> fuck? You just, ne has you never smiled before, and he looks like a fucking proper McDonald's person. But no, that's better. Yeah, 
Is it the green screen? Yeah. It is the green screen. Never again. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> not even reading oh, that dear. one. I don't know what adrenochrome is. is that <laughs> that's just, that's the stuff that uh, they're, they're using to keep... Yeah, we're not getting into that. Yeah, all right, okay. Yeah, Wrong show. That, that's Jay's <laughs> show tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, is about Hollywood actress Rachel Zegler. So there you go. So, yeah. Like every, like every other show on the internet is apparently this week. She's popular, yeah. Who, so. Who's that? Um, <laughs> she's the girl in Snow, that's been cast in Snow White that's been going around giving these awful interviews. And, and it's, essentially, it's turned everyone against her. And she's, uh, she seems right, like one of the right. most unlikable people I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, you see um, right, that, right. It is she's honestly not awful. Yeah, not yeah I did see a clip of her complaining about the original Snow White. And I was like, what the hell are you doing? Like, yeah, you know, it's yeah, like a classic it's movie. You don't know, say anything yeah. bad about Just it. Just shut your on. fucking face, love. Yeah, exactly. I was like, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah right. We're, anyway, well, yeah. we're, <laughs> we're doing this. Shakespeare, but we're making it better. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> Shakespeare is like so old and weird, weird. <laughs> like, you know, what are you doing? It was a um, different time back then. Yeah, we have to change. such a boring white guy. My Snow White. get on board with the program. <laughs> and actually Shakespeare did used to cast women as men so he was oh, there yeah, before Disney actually he didn't did he it was the people that put the productions on but never mind um, right yeah going down let's go on this the, the, I forgot about this the skateboard I guy in Hard Ticket to Wire that he had he did he was he had an inflatable doll with that's him. right like, it's, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> it's like oh it's just a guy skateboarding down the hill on his hands nothing to see there <laughs> but like, as if that wasn't enough Let's get fucking um yeah, let's get in with an inflatable woman. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, there's, there's another one where they have a they're, they're taking out all these three uh, scientists or something at the beginning. One of them drives off, stops, his car blows up. Then you get the flashback later that shows how he was faked his bombing because he that's right. Gets, Stops the car for about ten minutes, inflates this inflatable doll, crawls out of the car <laughs> down into a ditch. Then the car, yeah, <laughs> and, and that's the one. It's, Ju it's Julie something else. Julie something else. It is in that the block. And that, Julie that one, yeah, that's right. That one. I can't remember which one that is. Hang on, I'll tell you. It's the one. I'll, I'll, I'll get my play this stuff and then. Yeah, because well, she didn't know she was bombing him, and then she didn't know they were being filmed. So. No one can understand why he needed to replace his body with an inflatable that no one's going to see him driving away. Anyway. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't make any out. sense at all. It, it makes absolutely zero sense. It's just incredible. Um, right. I think this one... goes back to what we talked about before when uh, someone said these scripts were written in four days. Yeah, that, that's what happens. Yeah, and, yeah. And, not, and, not, and not and not even checked. Um, right, uh, right. Okay, no, that no, one yeah. is called. That one, I believe, is called the Dallas Connection. Ah, that sounds right. Okay, yeah. Isn't that that movie the about uh, like selling cheap like AIDS drugs? Right. Uh, is that I don't? Is that a joke? I don't. Or is it a joke? I don't get. No. Is that a, all right. That, that no, is no. It. I think they're, they're these uh, two women look, flying around, aren't they? Delivering drugs. The story uh, in that one is about what I can't remember what their aim is. I well, remember. I'll get to that one. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, where are we? We're on Hard Ticket to <laughs> We've just finished Hard Ticket to Hawaii. <laughs> hard Ticket to Hawaii. The best one, yeah. It's yeah, you, with you the answer snake. that one. I'll look up where we were. Uh, no, Fifth Beast <laughs> Life didn't. Can you, uh, can you link that to me in Twitter, please? Or X, whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, that guy is brilliant. He is really good. Yeah. But uh, actually, so is um, Rob's okay. good. And so is, um, to be completely honest, who's here now. Uh, he, he's very good, yes, he's uh, but, uh, but Urge to Pee really is a, really is a, a special a special commenter. Like some of the stuff he says, you <laughs> yeah. think, Jesus, he's, it's as if we've given him the script beforehand. He comes up with this stuff so quick. <laughs> yeah, <it's> suspicious. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Don't worry. You know how I love the abuse. I would press round of applause, but yeah, they yeah. don't have that function on this because this is the free. Oh, it's not the free version. It's a stream well, stream yard. Yeah, I pay for mine. I pay for mine, <laughs> but I, uh, lots of bonuses with mine, including 1080p. Rachel's, yeah, that, 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 this is what everyone's saying. Everyone is saying, um, no, no, he doesn't. That's right. Good. Thank <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, she is. That's what, that's what people are saying. I mean, I didn't really see the Brie Larson thing wasn't um, that bad. I, mean, I didn't think she was that bad. Yeah, okay, she's not particularly likable, but this, this person really has yeah. uh, 
set the bar so low. I mean, I, I think you would struggle. Like, I, we were I was talking with a couple of people the other day in real life, and they were saying, "Fucking hell!" Like, um, I can't actually think of any historical or fictional character that I hate more than her, and that includes <laughs> like you know the bad guy from WW two. It includes um, you know King Joffrey <laughs> from Game of Thrones. But like, seriously, like. This, this person is so hated, it's incredible. But more on that tomorrow. Yes. We're we'll talking yeah, about that about tomorrow. That. We're talking about boobs. Yeah, sorry, yeah. So, uh, well, just say that. Brie Larson <laughs> is trying to make a comeback with because she's in like stuff like Fast 10 and more popular men's bro films in these days. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Keep your Jason name out of your fucking yeah. stream. <laughs> Keep it down. Hello, Harofa Waffles. Thank you for joining Good us. Good evening. In the midst of anger. Sunglasses guy is Rob from Sunglasses Explosive guy is Review. Rob. So my <laughs> name is right. Gabe, yeah. <laughs> I'm the one with that. How are you, Luke? Uh, yeah. Actually, that's the point. My name isn't on this either. Where's... Oh, because the chat's up. Sorry, that's one. It's because of the chat, yeah. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I see. I, do, I, I put my own thing. I put my own overlays yeah. in it. Yeah, sorry, you, sorry, you got your own overlay. And have a... <laughs> stop, stop moving, don't you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Love You're that. gonna be on Brilliant. timeout for ten minutes. Yeah. Right. Anyway, <laughs> back yeah. to 1988. Yeah, night, so Twenty-five years. Thirty-five years ago, is it? Oh, they do on. start coming out every year now, don't they? Oh, he's gone. Has he gone to check his calendar? Well, if yeah. you can bang well, out a script in a week, I mean, yeah. Yeah. have a green screen up. Very good. Yeah. You're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> oh, I can, I'm assuming that is your son. VT, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Not from Hollywood. No. Hello. Say hello What's to up, Uncle Jay. <laughs> you have to look up a bit. There you go. Hi. <laughs> right, bed. <laughs> go on. I've got one of those in the other room over there. Have you? Ah, there you go. Is that oh, that okay. school's as well? They right. look pretty Biolog similar. Biolog I also yeah, have okay. a, like a, Small blonde boy, yeah. I've got right, okay. that <laughs> Before the show goes off the rails, <laughs> the links will be in eBay in the comments section. So, <laughs> Ooh. although money, you say? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, there's my new, there's my new PC. <laughs> Where did we get to? Picasso Trigger, 1988. He directed and wrote. He didn't produce that one. Uh, after his brother got eliminated in Hard Ticket to Hawaii, 1987, uh, a crime lord triggers a ruthless hunt against all responsible agents, and the remaining agents will have to avenge their fallen comrades. Right. So, in, so the guy in Hard Ticket to Hawaii, the guy at the end, who's like the the army bloke, uh, he mm. then becomes mm. the baddie, I think, in in this one. And is he a famous <laughs> actor, or does he look like another famous actor? I think he's I think a famous he looks actor. Like it. There's so two far, that are very know. similar, and I can never remember which one it is. But yeah, so he becomes his name is Picasso Trigger, which doesn't make any sense, and so is the painting is called the Picasso Trigger. Yeah, uh, and and, and yeah. yeah, it's crap. This one's bad. This it's one's terrible. Bad. Yeah. yeah, really bad. It's, this one, I think, I only made it like thirty minutes in, and I yeah. hadn't seen any nudity yet. I'm like, click, yeah, done. Oh. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, oh, it's one just, thing it, I'm not going for. I obviously had to watch the whole fucking thing, but like it just, you know, it wasn't great. No. <laughs> Not great at all. Oh dear. Well, well, we've still got one more for the ages. Let's catch up on the chat. Because uh, Professor Macabre has always got something good. Oh, yeah. She was, that's a good point. She was, she did have a few before. That's she right. Was Who was she before. in Scott Pilgrim? I don't remember her in there. Yeah. She's only got a small part in that one. Uh, Same as. She's in 21 Jump Street, the film, as well. Uh, yeah. I've seen Brie Larson. That's interesting. So Brie Larson started, well, not started, because she was in, um, I think it's 13 Going on 30, with that, no, with um, oh, yeah. Jennifer Garner. Yeah. Seen that? Well, you probably haven't seen that. but I um, seen it, but it. Yeah, but, um, and Mark Ruffalo, I think, is in that. No. But um, yeah. after that, she started a music career. Where she pretends to play the guitar in what in a really bad Avril Lavigne way. There's a video. <laughs> it is absolutely awful. You have to watch that. Right. Like Brie Larson. Real, or is this part yes. of the movie? No, she's this is her Brie Larson attempts a music career. Oh wow. Shocking. Okay. Yeah. She also started a YouTube career, didn't she? 
10, 10 minutes in long that was hilarious. what when she pretended to like video games i saw the critical drinker did a review of her channel that was absolutely <laughs> brilliant <laughs> everything was so girls. fake and forced oh mm. it's one of my friends is calling me and then it had like a full camera and lighting setup and then everything, <laughs> in the, everything in the background is completely clean there's no evidence that anyone uh. lives in the house hi how are you doing? i'm just doing this i'm doing that it's pathetic <laughs> I mean, it's awful. Such a awful. such a really bad attempt to look like a real person. When no, I'm not, I'm not saying she's not a real person because she's rich. She's not a real person because she's not a real person. No, you can right. say that. Rich people don't count. Yeah. No, no, rich people count more than poor people. That's why they're rich. <laughs> so yeah, if rich people, people counted, we wouldn't be able to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, in uh, less than 20 subs time, I will be becoming a family channel. So there you go. Uh. <laughs> <Gotta get there. laughs> oh, Mike's uh, smarter the better. All right, welcome. Mike. <laughs> Very welcome. There's some new uh, people in here I haven't seen before. There's some new channels I need to watch. <laughs> oh, so, oh, blocked from yeah. selling a copy of Necromancer. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, you can get trouble in trouble for that well, in some countries. What's the other one? Yeah. Though? The other film, the Siberian film, isn't it? That's you have to have a, a Serbian film. Yes, you have to have a special permission to get it in uh, the UK on DVD. Oh, really? Because yeah, yeah. it's out. It's actually a pretty good film. <laughs> I'll get Jay to review it. Uh, have you seen it, Jay? No. A Serbian film? No. No, I haven't seen it either. No, what it's called? A Serbian <clears throat> film. A yeah. Serbian film. Yeah. Oh right, okay. I thought you were describing it. <laughs> no, 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 that's the name. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, it's a. It, it would kind of fit with your channel because it is uh, porn-ish in a way. Um, yeah, in is a it way. Terror? Is it really bad? No, it's actually quite good, but it's Matt. super disturbing and dark. Oh, um, no, yeah, that's, that's more. That's more. That's more you then. You're, yeah, you're it's more me. Yeah. I'm terrible. Film. <laughs> um, <laughs> mine don't even I don't have know tits in it anymore. I don't care. Like I'm just going to do anything. So. <laughs> Yeah, Who is Anita Sarkozy and one of the uh, says she's the woman on the um, Young Turks, I think. Ah, this is. But she's just turned, uh... I think, a bit. Mm. Oh, hang on, no, she's not. That's Anna Kasparian. Oh. Uh, Anita Sarkeesian is the one who's angry about Gamergate. I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, see. Someone at there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Rob. Arrow did put out a Rust Mary collection. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> That's for our Rust Mayor episode. Yeah. I remember seeing Beyond the Valley of the, the Dolls on our late night TV many years ago. Not seeing that. No. What's that? Uh, hang on. Sorry. Just checking my playlist out. It looks oh. like this. Oh, nice. Is that all his films? Ooh. Oh, careful what you're <laughs> that, That's Vixens, isn't it, that one? Super Vixens. Uh, super, super Vixens, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is back when Arrow was called uh, Arrow Video. You can see the little right. Arrow yeah. symbol there. Yeah, yeah but this, um, it came out. I don't remember when it came out. I bought it when it came out for like 80 euros, and it, sold out quickly and now they go on ebay for hundreds and hundreds yeah they should re-release it yeah no. hey bumpers here show my bumper hard ticket to hawaii what a movie see someone loves yeah, it another one yeah <laughs> then, oh, it's uh, one of the better yeah. ones definitely i said serbian film watch party would be fun i don't think it would <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's really really well made i've heard that but yeah it's not for the squeamish yeah. Good, yeah. yeah, it's like very well photographed, very well acted. Um, but yeah, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah, we won't get into any of it because it's very dark. Oh yeah, that box set is a ama something amazing, freaking amazing. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's a missing nice... a couple, but it's uh, it's got a lot of them though. Okay. Right, where are we? Still in the eighties, nineteen eighty nine, Savage Beach, director right, writer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is, yeah, the DE agents flying cargo as part of their cover, make an emergency landing on a remote oh, island yeah. in the Pacific <laughs> where several unscrupulous parties are looking for WWII gold treasure. Yeah, yeah. Is that one of the that's right. Yeah. 
Jap- Japanese gold stolen by the, or Filipino Philippine gold stolen by the Japanese. Is that right? Yeah, they didn't make it very yeah. far. Away and, or away there is from... a huge flashback scene in that, and it just goes. Yeah, on. it goes on for hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's then, a lot of lot of crap. Spoilers: one of the Japanese soldiers survived fifty years on the <laughs> island. The makeup on that guy is hilarious. It is just like it's so obviously a young guy with stuff on his face. It's like uh, appalling. It is. Is this the one that has the like snake that gets delivered by accident? That's hard ticket to Hawaii, I think. That's hard ticket to Hawaii. Yeah, okay. it's the same women. Oh, but the the, the others have snakes in it too. But, yeah, there's, a, um, there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few but, snakes. Yes, yeah, so that's hard ticket to Hawaii. But then this one, uh, yeah, there's, they're on the plane and they accidentally crash land there, don't they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. right they're right. in a storm or something. Well, and... Yeah, and there's some other nonsense going on about um, about this gold or whatever. It's total nonsense. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. Savage Beach is not that bad. It's one of the best. No, ones. no, I, I yeah. like it. It's probably it's well, probably yeah, my favorite one. Yeah, it must yeah. have been quite popular. Because what's your first favorite? Hard ticket to Hawaii. It's the right. Funnest. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, then Savage so. Beach, and yeah, maybe like one more, and then after that, they're just awful. <laughs> Yeah. As we're halfway through, which is the one with the hot tub that's seen in it? They're, all they've all got them. that. Yeah, they've all got that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I love like, those scenes. It's like, oh, let's wait, well, let's have a meeting, you know? They yeah, have yeah. A meeting in the hot they tub. Do actually and say, like the... I do my best thinking in the hot tub. <laughs> exactly. Like, what? Dude? And they've got like the uh, like 80s like fax phone combo sitting like right yeah. next to the hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> And is oh, this? Awesome. I think this is the first one where they where they start having the um, the radio station, isn't it? Yeah, I was, gonna, I was just thinking of KSX. Oh right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> KSX, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, the, and and the ridiculous thing that they pass information uh, because they don't want it getting out, they pass it in code over the radio because there's no way anyone's <laughs> going to get that. You know, if you want to keep stuff a secret. <laughs> And it just so happens that everyone's listening to this radio. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be caught up in some story that's up there reading off like someone's sex story, and, and uh, that's the and, and, back, and so the, there's a hot tub at the radio station in Hawaii, right? <laughs> yes. And for, so, there's always like a new yeah. helper at the radio station who's just a woman <laughs> like in a bikini that does right, it's not yeah. pointless to the plot completely. Yeah, just in every shot, but yeah, doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. the, the Which... outfits they wear in the office are ridiculous. Yeah, oh, it's out- outrageous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the one with the shower scene then? Uh, there's there's a, sh- there's a shower scene <laughs> and in uh, Hard Ticket to Wise. I think yeah. Hard Ticket to Wise definitely got because that's where they is that where they break in and yeah, it is because that's yeah because it's in the sh- shed, uh, the house. Yeah. Sorry, it's a shed. <laughs> shed it's in right. the house when the snake is outside scaring Seth, isn't it? <laughs> so it's in Could that house in. and they get those people in with they've got the stockings over their heads but they don't even pull them up so it just looks like them but with like a slight <laughs> dark filter <laughs> and then they get yeah. but there's a shower scene in uh malibu express right the two like the one guy's oh, yeah. like boat neighbors take a shower like in his boat. Yeah, they just go around his house. They just, he turns up at the, yeah. the back of the, his, his sorry his boat, and they're like, "Hi, I'm Trixie or whatever." And then they just and then they just start shagging. It's like what? Right, yeah. Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. There's a one like fun. really stupid line in that. It's like, "Oh, you're a private investigator. Would you like to investigate our privates?" It's like yeah. <laughs> Old writing there, you don't get that anymore. Yeah. So, uh, four yeah. days, four days, remember? Four, four days. days, yeah. yeah four, four days, days. Right. well, no, yeah. yeah, four days for him to write it, yeah. Then Arlene, his wife, who was the more serious of the, the two, would go through it, add the uh, <laughs> add story. And <laughs> I think he just did the stunts <laughs> of nudity, it, and then he, he put the story in. I think it's hard to get to Hawaii that he and his uh, uh, is, is cast himself. As the rapey film director, isn't it? Yeah. Where he yes. sat at the yeah, table he's... going, Oh, come on, give me another chance. I really like you. And she goes, She's like, You you Severus Snape to me last night. And he goes, That was last night. Now it's today. <laughs> yes. I want another chance. <laughs> That's right. Like, what? He is, uh... And she's like, Oh, he okay. Like <laughs> yeah, he does appear in a few films as like air traffic controller or something. And that's right. Yeah, he's a, mm. he's a police detective in a later one, I think, as well. Yeah. I don't know, where are we? Uh, what's France? Oh, yeah. 
back onto your Arrow video. They've gone up in quality of yeah. The earlier transfers were a bit <laughs> twitchy. But yeah, might be the last bastion of this physical media. And there's a couple right. of good like, so... boutique labels that do good stuff. Mm. But yeah, Arrow's definitely one, yeah. But I like also, uh, what is it, 88 films? Oh, yes, they're good ones. They yeah, they put out some cool stuff. And I think there's Eureka. Right. Oh, yeah, and Eureka. They put out some cool stuff, too. My Blackula uh, is yeah, from yeah. Eureka. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, in his early years, he was a, what was he, a sports director. Of, he did the Olympics in, like, uh, right. Oh. Early 80s oh, okay. and stuff like that. He pioneered what came to be known as the honey shot in the 70s, which was close ups of cheerleaders and pretty girls in the stands at sporting events. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Well, that makes complete sense. So it sure. does make absolute yeah. sense. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently, yeah, they filmed mostly in Dallas, Hawaii, or Vegas because. Yeah. The start of Hawaii was the main start, was the starting point in uh, after mm. they left. Um, uh, uh, from a heart ticket to Hawaii. That's when it all, the Hawaiian stuff started. And then I think there's always bits of Hawaii, except yeah. in the Dallas connection, where our, sorry, Enemy Gold and Dallas connection, where I think are totally in Dallas. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there was, he said that there was any places that got him. Yeah. <laughs> That's the type of films he was making. Right. So while we're in the middle, Remote control vehicles are our yeah. favorite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So many remote control vehicles. So many. Yeah. And they are never the obvious solution. Like, no. it is no. it's always, I think, it's, again, it starts in Hard Ticket to Hawaii, doesn't it? Because they send the remote plane over there. Or is that in yeah. Savage yeah. Beach? Come but then it, Hard then Ticket it gets, has like the remote helicopter. Yeah. yeah they've all yeah. got one remote. It, drive, then it gets it? just constant. But uh, I think um, the one we just talked about. Uh, the Dallas connection, I think it is. It is just constant, yeah, constant uh, mo motorboats and um, remote control cars. But every death is a remote control vehicle. Mm. It's ridiculous. Yeah, there's always, yeah, so uh, you but you know why? A shootout and then... Oh yeah. So I think it, I think it happens. So in, I think in Hard Hunted or one of those that he they go to like an air a remote control airplane mm. show in outside Las Vegas. Um. And, um, yeah, and apparently Andy Sidaris was a real uh, model airplane enthusiast. Oh, that makes, so, sense. makes sense that he's just including that. Uh, just so you know, VT, uh, Fifth Beatle has yeah. said he's accidentally hidden. <laughs> I'm just working Come on that. Uh, cheers, Mike. Yeah, I, I was on, uh, I was on Ryan, Rod Ryan Rogers' uh, chat last night, and I didn't realize I was a moderator, so I went to dismiss a pinned message and just deleted it. <laughs> so that's, that's too much. Just don't make me a moderator. It's bad news. <laughs> yeah, Mike didn't have his revoked because we, we're in. I mean, the, the, we're of the age where we don't know how stuff works. So <laughs> I always like the uh, remote control stuff in his movies, though, because it does make me think that they were written by or maybe even for a twelve-year-old. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, quite. I mean, because me at twelve, if I wrote a movie, it would have yeah. been I want some big muscly. Wrestlers yeah. and yeah. naked playboy <laughs> playmates, and they're yeah. gonna like fight, and they're gonna drive remote control cars, and shit's gonna blow up, and Explosions, it's gonna be awesome. Big guns. Yeah, exactly. And that's the movie yeah. he makes. Like, yeah. he that never is, progressed beyond twelve. That's, no, that, that is true. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, that is it's a good <laughs> idea. But yeah, he's, what was it? Remote control boat. He used to because one guy was just fishing in the, the mud, and then his girlfriend was on the boat doing. It. The mission stuff, and then she's using a remote control boat to send in beers, and then that's <laughs> the right. Yeah, and it's an explosion up, underneath and it, yeah. bomb in the boat, and blows him up, and she gets yeah. shot in from wherever she was. And then another time they're in a shootout, and then she pulls out a tank, remote control tank that slowly goes over to the other uh, guy, yeah, and blows him up. <sighs> and that death we were talking about with the car earlier, when they get out and replace it with a dummy, that's a remote control car, and there's no need for it, it to be a remote like control that. car, but. But it is. So, wow! Well, it just is. Jesse it's Harry's just the Deadpool stole stole that idea, I think. Yeah. Uh, right, we're in the nineties now with Guns, where he directed guns. and wrote this one. Right, uh, Guns. So after a it's failed assassination attempt on her partner, DIA agent Donna Hamilton discovers that the crime lord responsible for her father's death is coming after her and her associates. Oh, this is oh yeah. 
<laughs> this one. Right. So this is the first one where Edie starts singing in every single one. And not uh, just for like a few minutes. So she does a the theme tune in this one called Guns, where she's performing live at Las Vegas. Because once again, undercover, she's a she's a Vegas uh, musical act. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, But in this one, and then all the ones until she leaves, she is singing a song because she tried to launch a music <laughs> career. This, I think, is the first one with Eric Estrada. This is the one where Eric Estrada's a bad guy. Yeah. Can't remember what his name yeah. is, but he, he gets pretty uh, Severus Snapey at one point with, yeah. uh, is it Donna's mum? It's on his mum's in the other day. The and this is I've the first, first one where they start assembling like the Avengers. And they just yes. bring, well, I think I called it the world's worst version of the Avengers. They're just all crap yeah. people. Oh, yeah, where they like send out the message to all the agents. And... Yeah. yeah. Or sneakily yeah. over the radio. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Then it doesn't get any better with Do or Die in 1991, where he directed and wrote that one. Right. Hunted down Dual by dark. six teams of assassins, hired by a Japanese yeah. crime lord, federal agents Donna and Nicole struggle to survive with their help from their agency friends. So yeah, that's the one with Mr. Miyagi, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Yeah. And this is, I think he's the one that, that it's like a big game. And then yes. uh, I think it's right. Eric Estrada, the goody, comes into this. Yeah. And then they, this is the first one I think they bring in Shane Abilene, who's totally pointless, and just a rubbish <laughs> actor. Um, I think this is the one where they dance, uh, where Edie. Shane and someone else are dancers uh, and, uh, at some at some like uh, fucking big bar. Oh, there's like a whatever. there's like a Hawaiian like luau, isn't there? I was, I was gonna say no, that, that's but... at the start. So at the start, there's oh, the that's luau. at the start. Oh, yeah, because okay. they get dragged out of the luau, um, right? And then, and then and Mr. The, Miyagi is like, Mr. Tomorrow like, at eight ah, o'clock, I'm going to kill you. It. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he yeah. yeah. informs them and sends six teams that. All fail, of course. Yeah. And someone in the chat just pointed out, yes, uh, Danny Trejo, I think, is... Um, yes, one of his early is roles. Eric Estrada's... Oh. Uh, I think it's Eric Estrada's uh, henchman in... Yeah. Danny Trejo looks the same age then as he did now, as he does now. He, he doesn't does. look any he different. Does. He's a bit shorter now. But his skin's not going to go to shit, is it? Because it was... You know, it's, it's not going to get worse. It's terrible. It. Yeah. Uh, have you seen Twin Towers? That guy has like been in two hundred movies. Yeah, Matt. Yeah, he didn't have even adverts now. He's doing with yeah for uh, tacos. Mm. I have a couple of things. <laughs> I have machete, which is pretty fun. Machete, yeah. Oh, so I remember that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Twin, Twin Town. Town that's that Welsh, Welsh yeah. one, isn't it? Is that that Welsh? Yeah, film? Welsh version of Train Spotting. It's I t- oh, I tend to avoid. Obviously, I hate Train Spotting, and uh, so I tend to avoid um, a- anything of that ilk. Yeah. Well, I, like not I, li- I like that one. Do you? No, I'm, I'm not keen. Mm. But Twin Towers never watched it. It looks a bit Welsh for me. <laughs> it's very I like, Welsh. I like the music yeah. in Train Spotting. And, yeah. yeah, it's got a good oh. soundtrack, that. Yeah. Um, right. Do you mean the left field song that is good for five seconds and then just turns into shit? Because that everyone <laughs> likes the bit at the start and then it just goes shit, doesn't it? I mean, I remember like Iggy Pops on there with like Less for oh, Life. Yeah, yeah um, not that's right. Great song. <laughs> um, uh, I get my seat. Yeah. yeah, in a minute. Right, where are we? Do or die, we did. Uh, Hard hunted, yeah, nineteen ninety-two. Do or die, we did. yeah, that's right. Hard hunted. I can't. I can't remember the details of this one. I don't know this one. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, I do. Right. Okay. So this oh, one, I think, guess? is the one where. So Mr. Miyagi's character is called Kane, right? And it's short for something Japanese. So it's my name is da 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 da, but people can call me Kane, right? Then they swap Kane to being an American businessman whose who's, who's name is something like Harry Kane. I mean, it's not Harry Kane, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Michael Kane. And it's just like, what, what are you doing? I mean, that is just incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, no one, no one really notices. And then he's just a baddie and he tries to like infiltrate them. Edie sings, obviously, because that's what happened. Uh, yeah, and nothing, and nothing, nothing else. Is it topless it's or is it nearly topless? It's just nearly topless in all of them. Yeah, because it's about an international arms dealer will stop at nothing to retrieve stolen nuclear relay hidden in the Jade Buddha figurine. It's up to a group of undercover federal agents stationed in Hawaii to stop it falling into the wrong hands. That's right, and then he becomes obsessed with Donna. Um, Kane does, even though him in his previous form tried to kill her. He now fancies yes. us. I don't yeah. even know whether it's the same, supposed to be the same person or not. It is supposed to be the same person. <laughs> it's a multiverse. Maybe yeah. it's a cousin. 
like the yeah. with the abilenes. Yeah, yeah it, uh, the abilenes. <laughs> uh, the, the abilene thing stops them, doesn't it? It goes from um, yeah, Corey to yeah. Rowdy, and then Shane, and then we it's just Shane off. for the rest of them uh, until okay. they get rid of abilenes <laughs> altogether. Okay. Oh, I've said bump, but it's, yeah, um, it's not like train spots. Yeah, it's more of a black comedy. That is true. The yeah. two Welsh guys killing people. Right. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was sold as the Welsh train spotting, but it's two druggies <laughs> meets Death Wish. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, like druggies and stuff. It's just not not really my thing. Okay. Yeah, I've not yeah. seen Human Traffic either. That's another. I haven't one seen that either. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen that either. <laughs> That's my assu- yeah. That was my assumption. What Fran said. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Back to sheds exploding. Uh, yeah. What was that? That was hard hunted. Fit to kill. Right again. Yeah. This, uh, so fit, uh, again, I think this one also has Kane, and I think this one first introduces um, Julie Strain. I think her right. name in this one is Jewel Panther or Jade Panther or something. Like that. The, <laughs> the names she picks are ridiculous. They're all, all yeah. The names I don't know. What yeah. 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 But like. I'm not the titles. Yeah, and um, this one's another one where you think he's dead, but he's not. And it's, oh, yeah, uh, again, yeah. roll bit rolling into a bit of one here. These this is when they really hit like a low point where nothing actually happened. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, in this follow up to Hard Hunted, an international arms dealer Kane seeks a Russian imperial diamond, which was stolen from a, by a Nazi officer from Leningrad Museum during World War Two. That's right. Yeah. No, I, okay. There, so there is a bit of a story in this one. Um, and I remember the World War II thing, and it turns out that I think I, I can't remember how it turned out, but someone was related to somebody in one of the World War II main people or whatever, and that yeah, Kane that's... isn't actually Kane; he's someone else. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah well, whatever. Is is blue it? steel in this this one. Blue steel. Blue that's steel. right. And then she becomes Jade Panther or yeah, Jewel Panther, she's... and then she is... she's Black Widow for the rest of the rest of the. Thing. Yeah. That's. Isn't Blue Steel the name of the uh, facial expression in Zoolander? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone want to try it now? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. See, Julie Strain does yeah. bring something to the proceedings. I think. Yeah. So she's doing it for fun. She knows the level they're making. The others are trying a bit to make it a bit more serious. I think. Okay, this is pretty right. typical, right? Of what of what um what I find. So I'm this is not an anti Welsh rant at all. It I'm is anti Welsh. I'm offended. It is, already. It is gonna be it's gonna be anti Welsh. <laughs> but like when you if, when we used to go out in Cardiff, right? Because if we were in Bristol, we used to go out in Cardiff and I swear at the end at the end of uh, uh, every night that if anyone played like the stereophonics, every one of them was like, Yeah, and gets that like that. It's like no one likes the stereophonics except in Cardiff, they're like the most popular band ever, and they do it just because they're well. It's like, you know, anyone's Oh, anyway, Tom Jones as well. They all pretend to like that. So Tom if Jones. we did it, we'd have to do it with everyone. Doesn't matter who, because they were all they're all English. But, yeah, yeah, you do it with Coldplay. So. I do, but no one does, do they? No one does it with Coldplay. It's like they're Australians awful. apparently do this with uh, Men at Work and um, what's it? You're the Voice. <laughs> if you've only, if you've only got a few, I mean, Ger- uh, Rob in Germany, they must do it with like I don't know, David Hasselhoff, Hasselhoff. or De Fantastische <laughs> Fear or. Herbert Gronemeyer, um, or those famous oh, yeah. <laughs> worldwide actors. I mean, I'm not well, German, though. No, I, I know, I know, I know. But I say they must do. It. Oh, I'm not, I'm not Welsh, but I can see them do it in. Uh... Yeah, I mean, they do. There is definitely some national pride with uh, <laughs> like bands I... that break big internationally, like yeah. uh, the Scorpions or uh, Nina with like the. Uh, 99. <laughs> like, uh, that's how far back you have to go to find a German yeah, yeah, yeah. music act that's broken. But, the I mean, I guess Rammstein or Rammstein. Oh, of course, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's more recent, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I've, but National Pride is pretty much almost banned, isn't it, in Germany and has been for the last seven years. Uh, it's kind of come back. Uh, oh, I see. yeah, like in the 2000s, thanks to like the World Cup, and then like people yeah, yeah. fly like the German flag yeah, more yeah. and stuff. Um, yeah, I yeah. saw that the uh, that they're trying the mainstream politicians in Germany are trying to uh bar the AFD from running. Um, you know? yeah, I don't know yeah. how that'll work, but apparently, they're um, a threat to democracy, so they're going to ban them, yeah. But, well, seems, they, it's, uh, <laughs> it seems, like, seems like something that happened in the 30s. So, but anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all know how that turned out. 
Right. Yes, yeah. we do. Yeah. I my grandparents were over here uh, <laughs> killing my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> and that was only last week. <laughs> Uh, Rob, do you know well, who Danny Dyer is? Do I know who who is Danny Dyer? Danny uh, Dyer, no, uh, no, I don't. The best. <laughs> He's a cock and the actor. The clues in the name. Uh, uh. Is he <laughs> yeah, Dyer? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Although, He's one of these people like that went to like Rada, um, like act, uh, acting school, and yet his whole spiel yeah. is whoa. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, mug. <laughs> yeah. Just like me and uh, Mike will be doing a severance watch party at some point. Uh, Nice one, brother. Yeah, that's right. that's exactly. <laughs> yeah. It. Oh, my blue steel looks like I've had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. And he's hard. I'll show you. You've offended Good. the Liverpool constituent as well now. Liverpool and Welsh. Well, just... yes, um, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair enough. I'll, I'll accept that. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was in the <laughs> the forum at the time, and that has now uh, been closed down because. Uh, the bouncers were Severus snaping underage girls in the toilet. So that Ooh. shows you the sort of thing that was going on. Oh, yeah. Thanks for bringing the... Th oh, now we're bringing up natural pride for Mike now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sorry, I've, said, well, I've started him. Before we get any further in that hole, where do we get to yeah, Fit to Kill? Right. So that was 93 Fit to Kill where Andy directed and wrote. Then, right. in also 93, he produced Enemy Gold, which... His son okay. Christian Drew Sidaris did. Right, now, I quite um, liked Enemy Gold. Yeah, because I think that's what I it, saw early on. because the um, it, it, the story is totally separate. I think they change everyone's names. Uh, mm -hmm. There's yeah, a terrible actress in it. I can't remember who it is, but um, but the uh, the story is they've just got to find some gold. So it's basically a treasure hunt. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, what was it? On a where, while on a mission to stop a drug operation, three federal agents accidentally discover gold from the Civil War. Um, with the aid of a corrupt agent, a ruthless criminal kingpin will hunt them down one by one. Yeah, it does sound very similar. Hang on, I mm. think there might be another Abilene in this. Oh no! If they replace <laughs> Jane Abilene with Mark Austin, who's played by Mark Barrier, Barrier, I assume it is. Okay. And the, the bad woman is uh, Becky Midnight. She's her name in it. And it's Susie Simpson that <laughs> it plays them. And the bad is I obviously think... a Julie Strain, Jewel Panther, and <laughs> funnily enough, Rodrigo Ob Obregon. There he is. Um, Obregon. Uh, as, as Santiago this time. They always pick, I don't, they, they make him pretty much every nationality ever. So he goes from being like <laughs> Colombian to Spanish to like basically anything that isn't. Because uh, he's you know, an actor, loving. You can play yeah, anything yeah, you want. That's, that's true, yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Is this but then, part of the BBB series since it's not? Yeah, it's not, it is. It's just under it is. It is. work, but it's not on the box set. It counts as uh, Triple B series. Yeah, it is on the box uh, set. Sorry. It does, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Enemy okay. Gold is on here. And the other one, what's the uh, Dallas Connection is the next one. Is that on here? Yeah, that's the first it's one. Dallas Connection here. after that? So yeah, 1994, yeah. Dallas Connection, directed by Christian Drew Sedaris, where. That's. That's the one Dan. with the uh, sneaking out of the car with the with the um, inflatable woman <laughs> decoy. <laughs> it doesn't terrible. sound like it. Because this is called scientists in charge of a sophisticated start of the art, state of the art military satellite are being assassinated. It's up to a team of federal agents to protect the last surviving scientist able to activate the satellite. Yeah, that's but right. Yeah. I remember this now. Yeah, Cobra's when you read the plot, it's all comes back. Cobra. That's right. <laughs> that's that's Julie K. Smith. And that's, yeah. uh, I think this is an introduction to it. And then from then on, she's in all of them. Yeah, as Cobra. As There's Cobra. more after this? Yeah, there are. There's two more, I think. Yeah, two oh, more. Okay. Yeah. Where are we? We're just in time. Right. Uh, so then they have a break for two years. We get Day of the Warrior. I think that's your favorite. Oh, okay. I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one where Buff, Buff Bagwell comes in in this one, I think. Yeah. Uh, and or hang on, no, I think he might be in an earlier one as like a baddie, but in this one he's the main uh, baddie, uh, yeah. called the Warrior. And his right, whole thing right. is he has at his house he's got a wrestling ring, and he he dresses up <laughs> like here come here comes my white people. Oh, he dresses up like a um, uh, hang on, I keep forgetting it. <laughs> a, a person, a person, uh, an indigenous person of America. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah, he's a Red Indian basically. He's a Red Indian chieftain. Oh. He's got the headdress on and everything. Well, that come yeah. on, we're, we're all we're all we're all forty. So, uh, <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, so he's doing that. Uh, and uh, every time there's someone, uh, uh, someone he needs to discipline, he gets his mates to drag them to the wrestling ring so that he can do <laughs> pole drivers and body slams on them and stuff. And go Rawr! at the end. Half his own greased, up, oiled up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he's huge too. He did look well, very not, big. Not compared to other wrestlers, he's not. But in, in, but compared to normal people, it, yeah, it's shocking, isn't it? Yeah. When you see wrestlers and rugby players like next to like normal people because right. they're only ever next to each other. Yeah. yeah. So you think like the big show is massive because next to Stone Cold Steve Austin is huge, but you don't realize how big he is because if Stone Cold Austin was next to me, he'd be massive. Right. Yeah. And slightly better shape. Right. With a similar yeah. hair and beard combination. <laughs> and that's the bottom line because Jay Harang says so. You're going to put your hoodie up and walk the street saying, I'm Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, I think, I think when you can see below the shoulders, it's pretty obvious I'm not a uh, former <laughs> WWF champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> So the yeah, I felt really today. small once in an airport. I was standing behind uh, some guys. I think they're in the NBA or something. But, but <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, it's <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, because I like I, in real life compared to normal people, I'm huge. How uh, tall are you? What is what? How tall are you? Six four and about yeah, so two sixty. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, because so, it is because so I'm used to like being I'm um, two sixty and the rest. But uh, we, uh, yeah, in real life, you're like you're used to never. Be, and when you see someone who's taller than you, it's like impressive. Right. You're um, like, oh my but, god! But, yeah, when this you is see how people NBA, feel when I'm around. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, and it's actually quite. Um, I find it quite intimidating. So, like, Good. God knows what small people feel like just walking around normal right, people yeah. like us. Incredible, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm five eight. I remember I was in Rome. Are you, you five reading... eight? You're not five eight. Five eight. I, I, I assumed finished. you were six foot or six foot. I know you were always sat down, but I had no idea you'd be that. I had no idea you were a little one. <laughs> <laughs> when, <laughs> when your kid came in, he should have told you to piss off. He says, you're yeah, fucking no, he's, got, <laughs> he's got the granddad. He's got the Scottish genes. He's going to be taller than me in about six months. Oh, is it, is, uh, please tell me your wife's not taller than you. No. Oh, that's a shame. That could have been so much fun for me. People. Never mind. Right, My, mine's not either. Yeah. No, I no. fucking hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Juice Bigelow thing. Yeah. No, she's little. That's a big yeah. bit. Like yeah. F- five three. Yeah. yeah, I like I like the yeah. little ones as well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, before you go back on eBay, <laughs> not not those sort of not the little ones that you're selling on eBay. I mean, I mean so. <laughs> Stone Cold ET. No, I think he it. means like the ET body with that's like really flabby with a massive pot belly. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> or maybe, maybe he doesn't. Maybe I've just slagged myself off there. He might be might mean something else. So. <laughs> so the agency's computer database is compromised. Oh, this is yeah, the pizza delivery woman who's in a uh, very tight red leather costume. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the pizza <laughs> delivery is ridiculous. She gets up into the FBI. You. They say um. Oh, excuse me, what are you doing here? It's like the FBI building or whatever, or their equivalent. And then she's like, oh, I'm just, I've set up a, um, a new pizza place and I'm bringing in some free samples. And they're like, oh, okay, go on. There's one security guard, lets her through because she's quite good looking. And then everyone immediately passes out because of the drinks that they give her with the pizza. Yeah, this federal building that has one security guard and two secretaries. And then that's it. Right. In bikinis. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, when the sec- when the secretaries die, it's uh, pass out. It's brilliant. There's this old woman, and she's clearly too old to do anything drastic. So she does. So she passes out like this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awful. What is the name of their organization? It's like Lethal or something. Yeah, Lethal. Yeah, lethal ladies. L e t h a r. And I can't remember what it's. What it, Hang on, I've yeah, got yeah. to find out what's the yeah, acronym on, for. Yeah, yeah. What's I mean, it yeah, for that's my next yeah. question. What does it stand for? Come on. Uh, yeah, what is it's it? Something Anyone like ladies. Hang on, let's, I'll find out now. Ladies on. against. Yeah, I don't know. Don't Google. I've got it here. I don't need you to Google. Oh, you've got it there. Okay, it. sorry. Uh, oh, okay. It's it's something <laughs> like I can't. I can't remember. No, tell me. Go on. Okay. Legion to ensure total harmony and law. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, and they obviously one. just they obviously pick the word and then like, how can we fit stuff in here? Yeah, uh, yeah. brilliant. Total <laughs> harmony. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, to ensure total <laughs> harmony, like any government organization wants <laughs> like to do that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, fifth Beatle. I think he's oh, little I, as well. How tall are you, Mike? I thought he was a midget I think, too. I think he's five eight or five nine. <laughs> I think he's said. There are YouTube oh. videos about eating mouse driving into McDonald's. Right, no, I haven't oh. seen that, but I'll, I'll check that out. <laughs> so I'll yeah, reveal my I exposed myself there, thinking he was taking the piss out of a. Uh, it's that way. Steve, yeah. Steve calls call Steve Otten's face and you know, on E.T.'s body. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Final film, unfortunately, 1998, Lethal Ladies Return to Savage Beach. Yeah, it's just everyone uh, calls it Return to Savage Beach. They're just, they were obviously yeah, yeah. trying to rebrand it, Lethal Ladies. So in this one, they're all now it's all of them, isn't it? It's like Julie yeah. Strain, Cobra, um, I think it's Black Widow, Cobra, and then they've got two new women that are actually like the main ones, but they're not. Yeah. Uh, and let me try and find out who they are. I think they're, I think yeah. they're uh, quite well known. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. <laughs> this is what he got. Yeah, this is the lowest rated one. Yeah, Shaymart them... is Tiger, and they've got um, Shaymart. Shame, <laughs> clean up on our four and shame on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shame on. <laughs> I get my underwear from shame on. <laughs> shame on has to be shame on. Um, then so their buff Bagwell is the like the warrior is the same character again, but now he's a goodie for no reason yeah. whatsoever. It's got that Chinese guy, Japan, uh, Gerald Gerald Okamura, Okamura, Japanese sorry as Fu. Uh, and he's in the team. There's a big team basically, and they all yeah, go back to Savage the- Beach. Rodrigo um, Martinez. Uh, hang on, you mean is that? Yeah, so he he's, he's now again. This is the first time he returns as a character he was originally. <laughs> yeah, this. Oh yeah, this is this one. <laughs> yeah, the first one. So Savage, he's the same character in, as this. He is in Savage Beach, but actually he's not because originally he's a guy pretending to be him. But then it turns out, oh no! I, but then he comes back again. It's like, no, I am him, and everyone goes, ah, <laughs> and it's shit. <laughs> yeah, because. <laughs> He gets killed at the beach, Savage Beach, comes yeah. back in this one with a mask, a phantom mask on. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's this is the one with the mask, right? Yeah, and then, and then, and then, I, I know this and then, one. At the yeah. end, yeah. Like, the there's he's nothing wrong with him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then they arrest him, but then the real one, who is dead, walks back in, doesn't he, or something like that? Yeah, because uh, they unmask again, take, take off his phantom mask, take off his Mission Impossible mask. And it's, it's some a Asian Japanese guy. That's guy. Never yeah, been that's mentioned. right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. And the character that they reveal, it's supposed to be like some big scooby Doo moment, like, oh my yeah, God, it's so-and-so, but we've never seen the person before. It's like, oh, it's, it's, it's you. You're the son of that guy from two weeks ago that we never saw. I can only imagine it was from a deleted scene and they just didn't bother fucking explaining it. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, and then Obergeau comes back and then, yeah, he survived the island and then, but he's good now. So I'm guessing they were setting up another film, but Unfortunately, we never got there. No. Because a stolen computer floppy disk, showing his age, filled with information about the location of the mythical treasure in Savage Island will lure both villains and lethal agents into a dangerous treasure hunt. Yeah. So, sorry, going back to the whole uh, you being a munchkin. So, I used to think that your chair was (laughs) set... set, I used to think your your chair was set really low that you had just pulled it down for no reason. But now you're, I know you're sat in a normal chair and you're just like, Ooh. well, no, it is low. I'm just trying to. <laughs> That's it. Because you're higher. normally you're also normal proportions. Like you don't look like a squat person or anything. You so you must be really okay. small. How much do you yeah. weigh? Like don't ten know. stone. Ask a gentleman. I haven't been weighed in years. No, fair enough. You probably... <laughs> I, 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 I get weighed every time I go to the doctor. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> just so they can fucking bollock me yeah. and you're smoking as well this is disgusting oh. ah, yes we don't count 6-2 uh, Franzes yeah well you're more likely to bash into stuff when you're 6-2 than when you're 5-8 trust me ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Sophie run away hang on what, what, no, what's, the, what's this <laughs> she's doing um is it, a, is it a mold of yours? Yes. If you want to is buy it? it. No, I, is, that, I'm sorry, is, that, is that in your merch store, is it? <laughs> I'm probably like, I don't know if I found my little fucking... Uh, no, it's... <laughs> yes. so it could be that nice doesn't size, not true, things. actually. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Okay. I'm going to be making so, yeah, Willy keychains. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, mine would certainly fit in your pocket. Probably in a credit yeah, card well, pocket as well. Close, though. He's actually lowering the <laughs> tone. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You've done it now. Um, <laughs> well, this sounds like an interesting only, hobby. I put two. So nice. I have two. Yeah. That's how a Jay really is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if, I, if I was five foot two, I would I wouldn't be able to get up, would I? If I rolled out, if I fell over, I wouldn't be able to get up. I'd like be like, help me up. I'd be like like a fucking woodlouse or whatever. Or well, what do you call woodlice in America? Is it no oh, chuggy pig they call it in Bristol? What is it they call uh, woodlouse? In America they have a couple of names. Link uh, a roly poly we call them sometimes. Yeah. Uh pill bug, I think, is another name. Yeah, something like um, no, it's not what's a fish. Yeah, roly roly poly, I think. Right, okay. Like yeah. Uh, hang on. Before we answer, Professor, we'll just... <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I don't know if that's a compliment. Uh, right. Yes. This does sound plausible because, yeah, the Fast series does seem to be going into the Andy Sedaris levels apart from well, the tits. It's definitely... The um, parts, yeah. yeah, it's definitely like aimed at a similar... like. Hmm. IQ level of people, isn't it? <laughs> us. It, well, well, us back then because when we were kids. Uh, <laughs> and but Fast and Furious is now, I think, aimed at kids. I assume kids who shouldn't be allowed to watch it. I can't imagine many grown men are going to watch Fast and Furious. But Fast there. and Furious isn't like smutty, though, is it? No, not no, at all. Well, the car, no, oh, no, okay. no. Uh, it's car yeah. porn. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, watched the few, first one when it came out, but now there's like 20 of them or something. I know. I, yeah. I've seen the first one. I haven't seen yeah, the others. Yeah, I've just year, seen the first one. In, in the trilogy to go. It's Cynthia Plastercaster. Had done, yeah, uh, Cricket. Yeah, Cricket's here, definitely. <laughs> Does that, yeah, do you know, do, do, do anyone get that reference? No. no. It's, are there, that's I assume familiar. that's somebody that made uh, Plastercaster penises, I'm assuming, just because of what we're talking about. Is that what we're Let, talking about? Uh, well, uh, someone was talking oh, about making actress. a mold, right? Yeah, oh, she was. Oh, that's true. <clears throat> she wasn't Andy Dice Clay's TV series, uh, actress that's passed away. Hmm. Don't know, there's not much about her. She's an artist, so uh, I'm guessing she makes right. plastic art. Yeah, that, that'll be what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I call them rolling really balls. I've never heard yeah. rolling balls. Oh, see, look, Sophie appreciates a nice haircut. It's very good. <laughs> Thank you, Sophie. Well, yeah. I don't have. Well, we don't, we don't, well, I, I, I can't remember what it was like before. So we've had we've had slagging off of my hair, so I'm quite happy to turn it on the table. <laughs> yeah, that is. Well, they only go to play on the phones but, and chat, don't they? No, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> they don't go to watch well, films. My, my daughter goes pretty regularly. Ah. Does she? Yeah. How old is she? Uh, 16. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I suppose it's just before the age you can start drinking. So, like, that's one something to do, isn't it? Uh, you can drink in Germany at 16. Can you? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you have to wait till 18 for anything harder than wine. But beer and wine is at 16 okay. is okay. Oh, yeah. uh, right. Okay. Well, it makes sense, actually. Apparently, it works in France. They don't have as much of a drinking problem as, no. as we no. do. Well, my yeah. son's nine, and he wouldn't even watch Return of the Jedi add on the other night. Oh, no because just no, no interest, or no. I suppose I suppose the kids now, it looks dated, doesn't it? Now, or do, yeah. you don't well, watch films at all? He doesn't watch any films, Star, Modern, Marvel, or anything. Yeah, no. uh, it's not on my, YouTube. My, like minutes, my boy is not as into movies as my daughter, but he'll watch some. Um, okay. Yeah, we watched uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil a couple of nights ago, and he sat I've not through seen that. It. It's no, really no. funny. Yeah. Is it right? Yeah. And he really likes um, the Ray Harryhausen uh, movies, oh, yeah. like uh, um, Jason and the Argonauts and like, oh, okay. the Golden Voyage of Sinbad and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like, we have. I used all to of love those. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're great. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the stop motion stuff in that is very similar yeah. to Flesh Gordon. <laughs> Good point. Uh, oh, there you go. She was famous for having a mold of Jimi Hendrix's uh, appendage. Yeah. <laughs> Fair third enough. arm. Yeah. Uh, Sophie's seen Tucker versus Dale. Uh, Tucker it's Dale really versus... great. Yeah, super funny. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, remember when Fast was a ripoff of Fast Point Break? Yeah, the first one was. Yeah, it was. Wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Diesel wanted his Triple X franchise beer. Yeah, that was quite bad. That one. I've only seen the first one. It was bad. Yeah, I just saw the first one. Yeah, yeah. he's not in the whenever it came one. out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, I, I used to be a fan of Vin Diesel, like when he first got started, because I like. Yeah. Uh, he did this short film that I liked a lot, which right. now I don't remember the name of. Um, yeah. And then yeah, he, he was, was in. Uh, yeah, yeah, and he was Pitch in like. Neil, yeah, Pitch Black, Black was, was a pretty yeah. cool like sci-fi. Film. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, and it was because of like that short film that he made that uh, Spielberg wrote the role for him in Saving Private Ryan because he was so yeah. impressed. Right. I um, in that. And he was great in Saving Private Ryan too, even though I don't right. like that movie. But yeah, yeah, yeah But then the action stuff is. Ugh. Yeah, then. Yeah. Except, yeah. I've been told by one of the Stigs that he doesn't drive more than thirty miles per hour. <laughs> it's all stunt work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. good, good, sensible, sensible man. Yeah, but Vin it's Diesel is not worth getting yeah. killed over. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Vin Diesel's all in, but the second. Fast and Furious film. Yeah. He has a cameo in the third one and then came back properly for the fourth one. Oh, yeah. A bit with a wood chipper. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? What's, yeah. What film's that? That's in um, a spoiler for uh... Far Fargo. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, the wood chipper. Oh, yeah, there's a wood chipper in Tucker and Dale. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was good in Boiler Room. He does have, uh, and then he did what? Then he just it's interesting films, that we've got we got Freddy Krueger and someone talks about the boiler room right right between him. It's good. Uh, mm. Knowing your films again. Oh yeah, what, <laughs> what obscure knowledge that is. <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. No, <laughs> no, I stay very years, far away from Steven Seagal films. No, so. I've not seen a Steven Seagal film, but uh, <laughs> Space Ice is good if you want to find out exactly what happens in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's brilliant. I mean, it's it's so funny. Um, I like the fast and first fast. Yeah, it was totally a rip off of Point Break, but it did work. Yeah, yeah. And that's why there's ten yeah. now. Uh, oh, Indie Phantoms here, yeah? and back on the subject of Sidaris. Yeah, why are there no films with boobs in anymore? Is it because of the internet? Uh, that's a good question. There, there are, but they're free to watch on most parts of the internet. <laughs> so, it's, and that's why, because you just don't need them anymore. Like, it's it, it's just not necessary. Like what you, I, I don't think they so add anything some, to it. Some crack whore on uh, I, I disagree. Like, I mean, I, I like it. I, I, I know, yeah, you, yeah. I know you disagree, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I just don't... Uh. I mean, I don't find them, like... I mean, I don't think it's... They're not, like masturbation material or anything like that but i just think uh it's more interesting when people talk when they don't have clothes on <laughs> well, that's fair enough but i mean back in the day like if you want if you had a, <laughs> something in the 80s or 90s that had that had tits in it they were masturbation material because well, as soon as the viet some of these yeah. films are a lot more popular <clears throat> or straight to vhs because people would just think right i love that in the privacy of my home because most people right. most people that's uh <laughs> excluding Black um Fox. uh late uh <laughs> what's his name Paul Rubens don't just want to get their cock out in the cinema and start having a go. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is yeah. You can look at just Google anything now. Yeah. You don't need any special anything to do it. No. But I think the nudity yeah. it just makes the movies like more fun somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. yeah, I think because I think because there is a. Um, because we do have an association with those films being fun. I think that's what it is. Right, yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, yeah. Because like, yeah, well, I grew up watching like Loose Screws or uh, Porkies and stuff like that. You think, <laughs> yeah, oh, it's yeah, a fun yeah. film and that happens. And then suddenly you think, oh, well, that one's got that in it. So I'm going to watch it. Probably <laughs> a bit of that. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's like these films when they relax after their mission, the first thing is to strip off and go in a hot tub. Well, right. that's that's how I, that's I mean, fun, yeah. If I'm ever <clears throat> if I'm ever planning something, I just know I need to get in the hot tub. So, <laughs> the shorts are coming off, yeah. obviously, because like you know, how can I possibly <laughs> think with my without exposing myself? Yeah. Right. In an interview he did, he uh, Sidaris mentioned that there was the, some, I think it was Joe Bob mentioned the hot tub scenes, and then Sidaris said, "Well, they only have that 
we only filmed that for one day because it costs a lot to heat it up. <laughs> so, I mean, that, <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> Uh, so that's what Fran's got, and then they re remade Point Break. Oh yeah, and that was inspired by the Fast and Furious. Yeah, it was more. That spy was awful. Than... That was yeah. really bad. They yes. remade Point Break. Oh my god, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, 2010 maybe. Yeah, I think you don't know about it. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't watch great. many new movies, as you can tell. No, it was very pointless. <laughs> Ridiculous. Although I did watch The Batman last night. Yeah. I well, thought it was all right. It's all right. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, it's be like just yeah. gorgeous all the yeah, way through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I thought it was I like story wise, I thought it like ripped too much off of seven. So I was a little that was, yeah, that has been my I, 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 so. <clears throat> yeah, I thought it was just was like, shameless at times. They're just like, they were even like lines from seven, like, oh my god, <laughs> right. okay, <laughs> they should well, give Andrew word, Walker but... some money. Yeah, it uh, and it sure does give me suddenly interest in the plot and bookshop. Yeah, see, distracts you from your phone. Yeah, no, fair, yeah, no, <laughs> fair enough. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, but I'm so but that that that's pretty it. much it. Yeah, take it back to the video shop and wonder why it sticks on certain. Parts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basic instinct rentals are unwatchable. Yeah. Uh, Rita Sue and Bob too. Everyone British brings that one up. Do you know that one? Sorry, that might be one for your channel. No. 80s film. I don't know. About a bloke and two teenage one. girls. Uh, ah, see, Indie Phantom. I think we still need them. Same with Horror. Ty West has some good teenage shots in X, but then copped out with Pearl. Yeah, there's nothing in Pearl, is there? I thought that was going to yeah. be... But he's doing yeah. Maxine, so whether he's going to go all in on that one, which is set in 80s porn land, isn't it? LA porn. Yeah. Uh, Freddy's Dead is a terrible film for dream. Yeah, <laughs> that guy's so random. Uh, Freddy Krueger fan, what are your what's your opinion on the Bond film Die Another Day? Do you think it is overrated or no? What do you think? I'd really be interested to know your thoughts. Are you baiting got, the chat? I've got a good idea of what you think, but I don't know. The Batman's Riddler, see, the Batman's Riddler is not the zone. That it, it is, it's very that was a good idea. true, yeah. I've always yeah. thought you were going to have a left clue. I love Zodiac. Brilliant film. Mm. It's good, yeah. 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 I like it too. The Batman was good I was enough. Even, I don't think... even put up with Mark Ruffalo for that. <laughs> that is true. He is. Yeah. I actually think he he's a good actor. I like oh. I like him in general. I don't, obviously, I like as long him, as I don't yeah. follow him on Twitter, that is, I think he's a yeah. good actor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was also good in the the true story about the newspaper that broke the yeah. like, priest uh, abuse cover uh, up story. Is it? Yeah, no, no. yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, he's, no. he's really good in that too. What's, yeah, he was Boston. Something, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Boston, yeah, Boston Globe Before, or whatever. And it, yeah, something like that. Yeah. I can't remember what Before it was. I'm find out what it's called. Yeah, had a lot of good work. Collateral, I think yeah. he did as well. Mm. Uh, I'm hoping the sequel will come out next year. But it could it's be not delayed, Spotlight. Is it? Is it Spotlight? Oh spotlight, yeah, Spotlight. Yeah, yeah Spotlight. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's a good yeah. film. Right, we're going on to. Uh, oh, let's jump. Hang on. <laughs> She's biased. She's basing on his looks. Right, that's, mm. that's fair enough. That's why I like most people. <laughs> hey, Gregor. Nice to see Nothing you. wrong with that. No, Sexist is what it is. Yeah, I need to rewatch that as well. I've only seen it once. Nah. And uh, I, I totally agree. I'm not sold on Timothy Chalamet either. Yeah, I really liked that. him in uh, Don't Look Up. He's a great character. Yeah, that. I don't think he's a bad actor, uh, but I don't, I don't like him in June. There's something not quite right uh, about okay. it. I don't think he's. Yeah. Um, I can see. Hopefully, he's going to come make something of the role in the second one. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we, we shall see. Uh, oh yeah, the Penguin series. Is still happening because yeah, there was supposed to be a Penguin series and a Gotham Police show, but the Gotham Police show got cancelled. I thought, did you see Gotham the the TV show at all? Any of that? I thought that was all right. I saw the I first couple of seasons. Yeah, I didn't think that was bad. Yeah, yeah. interest, but it was all right. Yeah. I, kept I, I, suspect, having them. I think uh, Indie Phantom said earlier that he doesn't see the Batman sequel seeing the light of day, and I pretty much agree with that. I think it, I don't think it will. 
Well, it's still supposed to be coming out in two years. Uh, there's a lot of DC have got a lot of problems. A lot of their stuff mm. is absolutely tanking. Well, yeah, you wait for Aquaman 2. Too. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. And then we just had Blue Beetle dead on arrival. Yeah, apparently so. Yeah. But a couple of people that have seen it said so it's all right. Yeah, well, that's what I've heard. I think of no yeah. well, that's it. Uh, that was my least favorite Bond film. Uh, that's the one with the Ice Palace, isn't it? Oh, no, that's the new one. Sorry. No, the, I'm talking that, about you're, yeah, you're getting confused. Yeah, sorry. Like... No time. I've not seen No Time to Die. I've not seen any Ooh. of the new ones. The last one I saw was uh, Casino Royale. Oh, bloody oh, hell. Okay. Don't like that. I, like I saw two of the Craig ones, and then that was it. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's just, it doesn't okay. feel like Bond. It feels more like Bourne uh, now because it's like, it's not, it doesn't have that sort of. It's stuff a good thing you I didn't watch Quantum of Solace then because that is very Bourne. Is it? Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't totally. like. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I thought Casino Royale was fine, but it just he never yeah. felt like Bond to me. He wasn't suave in the way yeah, that, that is, many of the previous yeah. ones were. If you watch He's Sky, too Ford. edgy, too like angry. I'm like, Bond's not angry. Bond's like cool. Like, yeah, he's just he's a bit sleazy. You know, yeah. he, doesn't, he doesn't take no for an answer. Exactly. Um, yeah. And also, by the way, what does quantum of solace mean? It's not like an expression that I hear in everyday life, it's like a, for your eyes like, only and never let down. It's mentioned like a, it's a chapter in a oh, book or something. Okay, title. fine, yeah. right. Yeah. Solace <laughs> is a, like a uh, spectre in it. Right, oh, okay, fine. Or is it quantum, one of them. But yeah, yeah they tried to shoot one in. Oh yeah, I forgot Pennyworth was a thing. Don't know what that is. Young Alfred. Oh, right, yeah, sorry, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, France loves No Time to Die. Might be the right, only one. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen it three times now. Might be enough. Uh, it would be flop because there was particularly zero buzz for it. Yeah, well, no one knows yeah, apart think... from proper comic book people. No one knows who the Blue Beetle is. I mean, I didn't know it was. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I'm trying to uh, think what I knew him from a cartoon or something. That's about it. No, I've no, I've never never heard. Yeah, of yeah him. he's just like Iron Man, so there's not much you can do with him. Yeah, that. Yeah, uh, I agree. DC is really good. Yeah, yeah, that's Superman uh, reboot for it. I, yeah, think I don't know. James from... Gunn has taken more control over that. So, well, um, well, let's I mean, wait and see a, what happens. Though. He's got a pretty good track record. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> Quantum of Solace is my least favorite. Yeah, that's it's only 90, 90 minutes long. It's the shortest Bond film ever because it was one that was oh, wow. made at the last oh, writer's really. strike. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it never got finished. The script never finished. It. It's, uh, yeah, there you go. The, yeah, that's totally it. Real. It's all about it's all about that for me. That's what, that's yeah. what separated James Bond from any other like any other action franchise was all yeah, that. Yeah, they were trying to go away from yeah. it and get back on the track, didn't they? Yeah, I don't yeah. want it to be serious. I mean, there's plenty of other serious action things we can watch. I mean, yeah, exactly. yeah you go in yeah, for yeah. Bond for the attitude and the fun toys and the nice car, you know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. There's a new um, Gal Gadot spy thriller out this week on Netflix, isn't there? Is there? Ooh. Yeah. Not that I'm gonna watch it. But... <laughs> I'm sure she does. Yeah. She hated Lays and Beyond. Yeah. What the fuck is Blue Beetle? Well, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not horror. So yeah. There you go. Uh, uh, but, uh, oh, I've Gareth this once. But does the rest of the panel count Casino Royale with Peter no. Sellers part of the <laughs> No, def definitely not. No, it's the same thing with You Only Live Twice, is it? No. No. Never say never, again. That... never say never again. Yeah, so yeah, that, that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's not, yeah. that doesn't count either. Is it? Well, it's got um, not Peter Sellers, who's it? Uh, David Niven? Uh, no, the other one. Neurotic, yeah. Neurotic Jewish it's small guy. Oh, right, okay. Well, Sean Connery's in this, isn't it? Yeah, he's in right, it. Okay, yeah. Right, Bond okay. or something. Yeah. Uh, I haven't heard <laughs> Blue Beetle until a month ago. Yeah, it came no, out. No, it's nowhere. exactly, yeah. Yeah. And then got disappeared. No, we're not discussing what that is this time. I'm not Googling Ooh, it again. Don't don't Google that one, people. Really? I don't know what that <laughs> is. Get as soon as you say that, that's everyone's going to be Googling. That <laughs> film is okay, but it is terrible. <laughs> That's uh, on the review. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I think yeah. I think it's gone now. Yeah, yeah. I hope it dies. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm I mean, what I don't understand movie. about them is why do they all have to be action films? If you're going to keep making superhero films, do something yeah, else. I mean, why can't ending, there be? Well, yeah. What, Watchmen is good. Early 2005. Watchmen, 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 I thought it was good. Watchmen's just, pretty cool. Yeah. And actually, The Boys, the TV show on Amazon, started pretty good. Yeah, yeah I like that. Like, yeah, because yeah, it's, it's not in the same mold as everything right. else. Yeah. No. So yeah. Gal Gadot. Well, yeah, I mean, they could do. Carry on, now. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. Not really my no. type, but no. I can see why some people. Would oh, oh, hang on. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'd shag her, but and I, I mean, yeah, she is, <laughs> she is quite fit, yeah. And then you'd cast her as an evil, wicked queen as well, wouldn't you? That's right, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it's after some little young actress who yeah. thinks she's fairer for them all. But she's got, she's got the right attitude, so she's got the box office draw. The thing that's worse about this, well, I'll, I'll leave that because I can go on about that for ages. But. Yes, you can all rant about it tomorrow on Jay's yeah, channel. Yeah, I will do, I will do. Yeah. It might be an extended show at this rate because there's a lot to talk about. Yeah. You might have to mean more than an hour on that one. No, it won't. In terms of Hours box office, and then he does do no, niche that's, products. That's right, yeah, I agree with that as well. If you see his own, Yeah, but he's, right. he's turned niche products into huge money makers, though. I mean, nobody yeah. heard of Guardians of the Galaxy, and then suddenly that's true. it's like yeah, this yeah, huge yeah, thing. No, that's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, have I'll you give seen you that. Super? Yeah, Super is cool. What's that? So the, uh, Super a, is a superhero like, film. Where, like, I think she's a superhero, but what's what's <laughs> which one? Oh, hang on, Slither. That's that's one of my favorite films. That is, I love that. Yeah, yeah oh, it's great. Not yeah. not Slither with um the rubbish Baldwin that hasn't shot someone. And no, 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 no. with the little the squiddy where, things that yeah, zombie I, I, things. Yeah, absolutely yeah. love that. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Night yeah. of the Creeps. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I should really get. I should do that really because there's a lot of shit in it. Yeah, but yes, yeah, James yeah. Gunn, uh, Elizabeth Banks, and it? it's a lot of people before like you know before you. That's his first film, isn't it, James Gunn? And that's right. Uh, no, he's done quite. No, a few he did before super that. before that. Oh, was he? Okay, right, fine. I, yeah, that's right. the first one. I, I didn't know he was it's doing stuff before this month. I thought he was one of these people that uh, <clears throat> Disney had just plucked out of their ass. Yeah, no, James Gunn, he started working with uh, Troma, like that indie yeah. uh, group that did like Toxic Avenger and stuff. Right, and James okay, Gunn, yeah. Uh, he I don't wrote know. the script for um, uh, Tromeo and Juliet, and right, he know. acted in it, some uh, Troma films like uh, Toxic Avenger, like part four and stuff. Is his so, yeah, brother he... Kirk from Ghosts from uh, Gilmore Girls? Uh, you probably yeah. haven't seen that, sorry. Is his brother know. in Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy as yeah, the he's fine, that is him, yeah. The one that yeah. gets the he's thing. Yeah, he's very funny, that guy I like him in Gilmore. Mm. Yeah. The more Not the sort of thing brother. that you guys would watch, I assume, but No. no. <laughs> Are you not one off to it? Yeah. Uh not really. <laughs> well, I mean I, look, I mean, come on, you can not one out to anything, but like it's not it's not made for it. <laughs> Right, yes, everyone hates Casino Royale. From... <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, the superhero fatigue yeah. for the first time. <laughs> That's Fair enough. Yeah. Really. Right. I'm superhero <laughs> fatigue during uh, the original Spider Man, as in the one from the 70s. <laughs> uh, it was after the first Avengers, bloody hell. That's very yeah. early on. DC has yeah. been so lame recently. That is true. Oh, this is right. Yeah, all good. Um, Oh yeah, Werewolf Night. That was good. That was like a that forty-five minute, fifty-minute special over. Oh, don't know that. Christmas time there. It was in black and white. It was all uh, old Universal monsters themed. Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, right, that's so that cool. Was good. Yeah, they made an effort yeah. on that one. CJ and Boring Stunts. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Everything this person here is saying is <laughs> true. Indie Phantom. Everything yeah. is saying is true. Yeah, yeah. I've agreed with everything yeah. he's put up there. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. In Snow White, Gal Gadot is supposed to be jealous of Siegler's look. Well, I mean, yeah, well, that's that, that's another ludicrous plot hole, isn't it? But yeah, <laughs> well, because yeah, she can't. Well, she can't say who she wants the fairest of them all, which is supposed to be the good-looking girl. But then she has to. No, no, they've 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 made an excuse for that now because it fair means yeah, what fair it? and just. So of course it oh. does. Yeah. <laughs> so that was kind of the case in the original cartoon too, wasn't it? Because like Maleficent, she's Total smoke show. Yeah. Way better oh, looking yeah? than like Snow White. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, oh wait, they're not confusing right. movies. Never mind. Yeah. No, the movies well, Sleeping is, Beauty, yeah. but it's the same story. Yeah, I'm thinking of so. Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, it's the same Evil thing. I, I confuse those as well. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. old witch. In, uh, All I know is there's a non-consensual kiss at the end of both. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Linda Carter in her prime was hot. Have no, that's too, too long. Too long for me to leave the house. I'm not sitting in the I cinema mean. for that, that length of time. <laughs> I need cigarette breaks at oh. least every hour. Uh, no, I haven't seen it. No, no. Also, the three-hour runtime is keeping me away from it. I'll check yeah. it out when it comes on Netflix so and I can, you know, Abbott take breaks trailer. or whatever. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, had more in common Kickass <laughs> comic book than Kickass the movie did. Ah, which feels well, watered out. Yeah, there's a lot of darkness in the super film. Yeah, really, it gets really dark. Yeah, yeah, it's not what you expect from a superhero no. comedy. Nicholas Hammond Spider Man is okay. That's a seventies guy, isn't it? God, how have you seen that? Are you, aren't you under eighteen? How have you seen fucking? But yeah, okay, fair enough. Google, uh, uh, you've got a lot of spare time oh. on your hands. I'm telling you that. I suppose you would do. Christopher Reeve, the stick man, mic drop can't be topped. Yeah, uh, totally. Yeah. Those are great. Yeah, uh, the, the first part, two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, number yes. uh, the, obviously the fourth was terrible. Forty five years ago, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it good? Hang on. It's not as bad as freaking Charlie's Theron. Not hotter than oh, than Cus. Yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I actually do. Uh, oh, I actually do like right, the uh, Kirsten oh. Stewart. Chris, 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 Kirsten Stewart. Kristen Stewart. Kirsten Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, I, she used to be all right before she shaved her head and went all proper, like you know. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Let's catch you. That <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> One of Nolan's best. Well, mo some people are saying that, I believe. <laughs> I don't really like Nolan that much, I must say. I do like Interstellar and uh, yeah. Inception. Yeah, that, there he yeah, goes they, again. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a fan, really. Yeah. There is nudity, no. so Nolan is bringing nudity back in the films. Yeah. But it's Florence Pugh, unfortunately. Right, so there we go. And on that dot bombshell. On that <laughs> bombshell. Cool. So Jay is uh, uh, live tomorrow night. Yeah, um, tomorrow night, 9 p.m. UK. Slagging off a we'll be dis discussing no Rachel Zegler. Um so yeah. And yeah, and just Rob, so very quickly, just pit, please oh. highlight the last comment there that real Well, I will if you stop talking. No, no, but I'm gonna talk about that. Okay, that's that's my pitch out, 9 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, <laughs> Rang TV. <laughs> only, it's Which only one? an hour. Come along, join in the chat. Mike? Yeah, that I mean, that is that's. I mean, she is she's one of these ones that's forcing her kids to transition, isn't she? Ugh. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, they are sick, so you can't. I'm not, or whatever they are, so I can't. I'm not. It's not their choice, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. The last. I like Dark Knight. That's the best of his films. Oh yeah, I forgot. No, I keep forgetting Nolan did the Dark Knight films. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, I like the first two. The third one I didn't like. Oh, I like no, that. I mean, it's a, it's a, a Batman movie that takes place during the day. What the hell is that? Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I, I mean, I, I, to be honest, that's Batman what, something that annoys me about hour Batman. Hour though. Does, sometimes it's too dark; it gets annoying. Like, I mean, sometimes the darkness actually pisses me off. I just want to see what the fuck's going on at times. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I yeah, get the sure. fact that they're for the action scenes, but sometimes it's just nice to see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, and that's <laughs> what got me off the original Michael Keaton stuff. But oh. I, th well, see, I thought Rob had changed to doing Disney reviews, but his review of Up is about a Russ Meyer film. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, the one that yeah. dropped today. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's not Disney. No. No, that's a good one, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Far away from Disney. <laughs> much, better than, much better than the last film you re reviewed, isn't it? So. <laughs> oh, the uh, Fox yeah. Force or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that one wasn't so good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so professors admitting the Twilight Chip was pretty good in underwater. That is true. She was that, yeah, yeah. That, good in that. Yeah. Well, it's I, I didn't like the whole film, but she was good, yeah. Apparently she's good in that Diana thing as well. But I've Yeah, the ending that. was... I'm not interested in Princess Diana. I know. Fucking had enough of that. No. Later, guys. Thank you, Indy Phantom, for all your kind comments. Tenant, yeah. Tenant weird. I keep watching it, but expect got ten better. minutes in, turned it off. Too confused. I was confused already. I knew it was too clever for me. 
Yeah. Yeah. Inception works. You know, it's just dreams yeah. and dreams. Yeah, yeah. Tenant makes no sense. Some people are going backwards in time. Some are going forward and somehow. Yeah. yeah enough of that. There's one for you. Uh, Jay, read that one. Yeah. yeah that's right. Kirsten Stewart always looked as though she had stuff in her hair. Yeah. <laughs> Product, I guess you mean. It's something about Kirsten. <laughs> so, can I Franz? See some more. Yeah, that's a dark film for a different reason, isn't it? I'll, I'll <laughs> take your word for that. Yeah, <coughs> it's famous for not being able to see what's happening. It all takes place right, okay. in the dark at night in a storm. Well, that's like that Nathan Hill film that you did, Rob. Like, you couldn't see anything. I know. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Like that. That I mean, you'd, terrible. you'd watch the it back, wouldn't you, and go, I can't actually see that. So that's crazy. Yeah. Right, yeah. Someone right. should be fired for those. Hello, BW Tangible Moments. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Nolan's still shooting on film uh, and still uses practical as as opposed to CGI. Yeah, big fan. Yeah, he does. Yeah, agree with that. Yeah. That is good. For, of him I do prefer the stuff. practical. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. There's no, well, yeah, did all these fancy technology things for both Interstellar and Oppenheimer to fake space and nuclear explosions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, <laughs> pitch oh, yeah, very good. <laughs> uh, no, it isn't right. Take care, all. Have a nice yes. day, evening. Yes, have a nice day right. to you, <clears throat> Professor. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Goodbye, guys. Thank Thanks for coming. Friend. See ya. Uh, that's what she said. Right. Thank you.